Celtic reserves in the Highlands to take on Ross County. A win could put the young boys back on top of the table. So a big game this afternoon for Tommy McIntyre's side. Corner kick to be taken by Mikey Johnson. And it comes to the near post and a great header there from Stephen Welsh to give Celtic reserves an early lead. Lovely delivery from Mikey Johnson and there was the defender to glance that one into the net. Stephen Welsh who scored that opening goal for Celtic. What a lovely ball right to the feet of Mikey Johnson. He skips past one defender, past the second, and it's blocked, but it falls to the feet of Karamoko Dembele, and he makes no mistake. What a great start for the young hoops. Two goals inside the first 15 minutes. And it was all set up by that long range pass from Stephen Welsh and the setup from Mikey Johnson. Dembele makes it two. Welsh forward to Dembele, great chance. Barry Coffey's through on goal. Oh, and he's dragged his shot wide of the post. Ewan Henderson was looking for a pass there, but Barry Coffey went for goal and he missed. Mikey Johnson, great skill once again from the winger. He's through on goal and the shot there is saved by the Ross County keeper. Great play though from Mikey Johnson. Armstrong Okoflex using his strength there. Nice ball forward to Dembele, what a chance for the third. Oh, and a bit of skill there from the youngster and the ball just got caught in his feet there. He can't quite believe he's missed it. Welsh. Slides that one through to Dembele. Chance now for Okoflex. Oh, and he's offside. He doesn't think he was, but it won't count. In comes the corner, and there's Rudy Fraser at the back post to pull one back for Ross County. Well, it's very much game on here in the Highlands. Ross County pull a goal back on 50 minutes. Lovely ball forward from Henderson to Dembele. On the right-hand side, Dembele, and the goalkeeper comes out to narrow the angle. Henderson, Dembele, good play from Karamoko Dembele, slides through, and the cut back there, and it was blocked on the line, the cut back from Johnson. Good throw there from Church to Karamoko now, here's Church again, cutting inside, the ball breaks in his favour, and he slides it to Ewan Henderson, and that's the two goal cushion restored for Celtic reserves. Ewan Henderson with the finish. <laughs> High fives all round. Good build up play involving Daniel Church and Okoflex. And it was a clinical finish from Ewan Henderson to make it three. Dembele on the right hand side. Keeps the ball in play. Slides it to Henderson. Back heel to Dembele on the edge of the area. Okoflex. Oh, the ball just going a little bit wide, but he cuts back inside. Lovely one-two with Okoflex and Henderson. Armstrong, Okoflex, and it's a save by the goalkeeper. And Ross County will clear. <laughs> Forward comes Celtic again. Mikey Johnson using his pace and his trickery. He slides in. Armstrong, Okoflex, and the goalkeeper once again coming out to narrow the angle well. Upfield from Church. Header there, but only into the path of Ewan Henderson. And a great chance now for Mikey Johnson. He's onside. Oh, and he should have done better with the finish. And the full-time whistle goes. A great three points then for Celtic reserves. Tommy, a 3-1 win in the Highlands today. You must be delighted with the three points. Yeah, it's particularly at this stage of the season, you know, with us, uh, we're, we're getting to the end. Um, and we're up there challenging, so I think... Uh, 3 1's a great score, but up here it's always difficult. You know, Ross County, uh, predominantly and historically, are always good size, always make it tough for you, they're always well organised, and seeing the day they made it tough for us today. Yeah, it must be great seeing the boys responding that way after last week's draw. Yeah, obviously disappointed that we let the game slip last week, um, but we asked them to manage the game today. I thought they started the game really well. Uh, I thought it was outstanding. They, they, they get the early goal, it's a great co cross, it's a great uh, goal for Welshie. And then we get the second goal, so um, you know, dominated in long periods in the first half, a wee bit. The uh, second half was a wee bit difficult at times, they come back into it. But, you know, I think it was merited when you think of the number of chances we created. 
Yeah, and that result sees us go top of the table following Hibs' defeat today at Murray Park. I just imagine it's just a case of one game at a time. Yeah, and it just so happens the next game's against Rangers. So, um, yeah, we know that. We know our games are, are difficult. We've got Rangers, I think, St Johnston and Motherwell. Uh, left, so that'll be difficult for us. So, um, but as you say, one game at a time. As long as we can keep them fit, uh, and one or two coming in as well, you know, uh, Mikey Johnson and, and Hendo, you no know, getting some game time. You know, they were they were they were great. You know, he's getting that experience in Ante Ralston on his recovery, coming back in. So, uh, no, a good day coming up here is difficult and a great three points. Kerr, you captained the team to a three-one win in the Highlands today. What was your thoughts on the performance? Uh, I think it's a hard place to come, and I thought the boys dug in well to get the three points and. Uh, performed well and had a few chances could have been a lot more We often talk about your attacking play with your long rangers but today you were defensive and you made many blocks I had a few good blocks in there I didn't get a chance to have a shot but it's good just get all about getting the three points And that result sees us go top of the table Is it just a case of one game at a time? Uh, we're just taking one game at a time see what it takes us we've only got three games left so see how it goes and see if we can win the league